Hello out there. Uh, hello again. It's Lenny, your starving electrician. Oh yeah. Um, what we're going to start doing, or what I'm going to start doing, is uh, posting uh, shorter videos of uh, code questions, how to look up things in the code book. They're going to be random, but these are things that I found on the when I went for my uh, master's prep course and then my journeyman's prep course. Uh, it was a really informative class, and then the, the, it was um, the, it was the same technique to looking up things with, for the journeymen's and the masters. It's very simple, but I'm going to go over a bunch of these different questions. I'm going to show you how to look them up and to make it easier for you, not just to get like a journeyman's card, but to, um, if you have a code question about maybe something in your house, you know, this is, uh, is a course for the beginners, of course, or not a course, but my channel is for the beginner. So if you have any questions, I get a lot of questions about code and whatnot. I can only give you what's in the code book. I can't tell you um, your local municipality and certain things like that. So um, just so I don't lead you astray, I'm gonna show you how to look up for yourself, okay? So uh, here we go, let's get started. Okay, here comes the first question that in the study guide what I had, and it is round boxes blank where conduits or connectors requiring the use of lock nuts or bushings are to be connected to the side of the box. So, shall be used, shall not be used, shall be listed, shall be approved. Well, the first technique is, let's look for round boxes. That's the question. And in the body of the answer, or what we look up, we're going to look and uh, skim through and see if any of these shall be, shall not be, shall be listed, shall be approved, coincide with round boxes, conduits, and connectors. So there's a little technique to it, but I'm going to show you how that works. Now here, let's go to the code book. Okay, first thing we do is we go to the back of the code book. Flip all the way to the back, you have an index, just like you would a dictionary. Alphabetical order, there's B. We look for boxes, alphabetical order, alphabetical order. Let's see. So we come here to the top of this page, we're getting warmer. Bonding, bonding. Bonding holes, bowling alleys. Boxes, hey, what do you know? Type, device, pull and junction. Sorry about the focusing. Accessibility, hmm. concealed work, conductors, number in a box, entering boxes, conduit bodies. Looks like we're at somewhere around Article 314. So now I'll show you. Let's go to Article 314. The code book isn't based on pages. They're based on articles. Um, so it's, it, believe it or not, it is an easier way to look this up. So, okay, so we found boxes. We're around 314. We didn't see anything like steel boxes or conduits, but some of those key words were still in there. So, okay, so we're going to go over to Article 314. So let's think, okay, if you're flipping through the articles, they're just like the pages. Three, let's see, Article 312, huh. We'll look around, let's see, all right, look around, 312. The next page, oh no, it skips from 312, goes to 314. Okay, so it must be in the middle. Scan down and look around, because your articles change. They go up and down, not left to right. So then we scan, scan, scan. We knew we were in the middle. Oh, article 314. Just what it said, the outlet, uh, outlet devices, pull junction boxes, okay. We were looking for round boxes, whether they shall, shall not. Um, where conductors are connecting, requiring the use of lock nuts. Oh, scope, the article, huh, okay, sheet metal, not metallic, okay. Oh, look at that, we found round boxes. Round boxes shall not be used where conduits or connection requiring the use of lock nuts or <clears throat> bushings are to be connected to the side of the box. So the answer is that shall not be. If we go back up to where we were, round boxes shall not be used where conduits or connectors requiring the use of lock nuts or bushings are to be connected to the side of the box. So there's your answer. It, uh, it, it's pretty easy. It's just a matter of I'm going to go over a bunch of these articles and they're just going to get easier and easier, but that's how you look them up. They give you plenty of time on the journeyman's exam, but you look up boxes and then uh, find the article. You get close enough, scan the article, then it, it tells you round boxes. Okay, great. All right, then we if we scan our keywords, shall be, shall be not used, then we can find them like that. But that's your first uh, 
lesson in looking up uh, codebook answers. Easy enough? Go. Cool.